so Romy here. This is the recap for Big Brother Season 18, Episode 11. This is the live eviction episode. So the episode, of course, starts off with uh, now they have the issue of the veto was not cho uh, uh, the veto was not used, meaning that either Bronte, uh, Tiffany, or Paul will be going home. Of course, Devon has her sights set on actually flipping the vote because originally. It was to uh, go and get Tiffany out. Now, Devon is thinking, you know what? It might be better for my game if I keep Tiffany in the house so that she can go and go after Frank next week. And, of course, she goes and she tells this to Michelle and also James. They're both here for it. They're both ready to go and do it. They're like, look, at the end of the day, why not? Why not? Why not? They bring in Nicole initially, and Nicole is down with it as well. Nicole... Pretty much is like, for the most part, she's down with whatever the house thinks, and she's a part of the alliance that is controlling the votes in the house. So, of course, she's going to be down with it. Devon's like, all right, this is all well and good. They just need to make sure they have five votes. And Zakia says that she's down. It's like, okay, we have enough votes. But then Zakia also wants to go and tell Polly because she's pretty much aligned with Polly and needs to make sure that she keeps that relationship open and good. And Tiffany seems safe and secure at this point. But when Zaki is talking to Polly, Polly brings up a great point. He says, okay, this is great. I understand you guys want to go after Frank. We all, we all want to go after Frank. But what happens next week? What happens next week where Frank potentially, as long as he doesn't win anything, uh, he gets kicked out, then who is Tiffany going to go after? She has no true alliance with anyone in the house. Why would she... Re really think about it. Why would she keep any of us in the house? And so when he brings it up that way, that's when people start thinking, oh crap, maybe Frank is right. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe Frank has a good point. And even though James was making a joke out of it, James clearly was listening to everything Frank <coughs> was saying regarding that. And because it's like, there's either going to be, uh, after Frank goes, what will they do? Please like, comment, subscribe, by the way. And how it ends up is, of course, Frank is trying to go and make some deals of his own. Frank's not dumb. Frank knows that Devon doesn't like him at this point for obvious reasons. And because of that, Frank is thinking, maybe, maybe I need to go and attack one of the originals. And when I say one of the originals, that's one of the returnees, meaning Devon. And Nicole picks up on it because Frank is trying to tell Nicole to kind of feel her out. And at this point, Nicole's like, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Why don't we go and do that type of thing? And Frank talks with Bridget as well, just to keep her informed on what's going on. Again, this is so annoying because I'm thinking, who's HOH this is again? Is this yours, Bridget, or is this Frank's? Because you could have really fooled me uh, as far as who this HOH belongs to. Again, Frank reconfirms the fact that, you know, maybe it would be great if you, if Nicole, Corey, Bridget, and himself create this foursome in the house. And it would be a strong foursome because all of them are good at competitions and two of them actually win competitions. So, <laughs> so independently so it's like huh actually all four of them are really good at competitions so she's just like yeah whatever whatever nicole's aligned with both sides so that's why she's going for it now frank does the dumb thing frank gets a little too overconfident and tries to cover his tracks but does a horrible job doing it and he talks to nicole even told him do not talk to michelle because michelle is close with davon michelle is outside and Frank wants to talk with her. That's when Frank goes and divulges his plan to go and take out Devon, Devon and asks Michelle, what do you think about that? Michelle's like, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yes, yes, absolutely. And then the confessionals, Frank, I'm aligned with Devon. Why would you think for a moment that I would do anything that you want to do as it pertains to her? Come on now. Frank, but you know, I'm going to pretend, yeah, 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 anything you say, oh yeah, and you can't tell anyone, oh yeah, absolutely not, and Frank uh, spills the beans in saying that, yeah, Nicole was unsure about 
me saying anything to you because she thought maybe you were really close with Devon and that would cause a problem. Frank, who are you in line with? This is why they want to get you out of the house. You are horrible at this. And so Michelle's like, oh, and Nicole knew and she didn't tell either. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Now, Michelle goes, runs back and tells Devon and Devon's laughing because she knew that Frank was going to gun for her. So she, that wasn't a surprise. What was a surprise is that Frank not only told Michelle, Frank also told uh, Nicole, but Nicole didn't tell Devon. So Michelle, being as messy and honest as ever, is just like, yeah, and he was saying how uh, he told Nicole, but Nicole said not to tell me because uh, she was concerned about who I was really aligned with. And Nicole tries to laugh it off as in, oh, no, you know, of course Frank is lying. I can't believe he would go and say, I'm going to confront him right now because I can't believe he would go and say something like that. Oh, my gosh, Frank. And so she leaves, and Devon is thinking, well, she doesn't say anything after. In the confessional, Devon realizes, you know what? If someone lied on me like that, I would just go and laugh it off. But Nicole was very serious. So I'm going to have to take that into consideration. <laughs> I'm going to have to take that into consideration. And again, Michelle kind of does some general damage control. And it's just like, okay, so who are we actually voting for? Regardless of you lying or not, who are we actually voting for? It's like, yeah, I'm thinking about really voting for Tiffany. Let's just flip the vote. It's like, okay, that's cool, but we need to get Polly because Polly's going to be upset. The reason why they actually care about Polly being upset is because, one, he can win competitions. Two, he can win competitions. Three, he can win competitions, and he's not truly aligned aligned with them. <coughs> He's aligned with himself, then Zakia, then possibly whatever you want to call the eight pack. Or look, at this point, those groups don't even matter. Those alliances don't even matter. So they go and they talk to Polly, and Michelle brings up a great point. Michelle says, I know you're concerned about who she going to target after um, Frank goes or if Frank goes. But you're not, you're missing the bigger picture. The bigger picture, Paulie, is Tiffany really wants Frank out. Why would we get out someone who wouldn't vote to help, uh, help Frank out in this house? Bronte. Yes. Can Bronte win competitions? No. Is she really that, that much of a threat overall? No. But, but, you need someone like Tiffany in this house who overall is gunning for one particular person and then we can go and make her paranoid and go get that person, that person, that person. You're worried about her possibly flipping. I'm worried about the fact that Frank not only has himself, he has Natalie, he has uh, Bridget, and he has Bronte, and possibly Paul in some cases. So that's when Paul Lee realizes Frank really is a huge threat. He could, and even Corey and all of them were saying, yeah, Frank is the biggest threat. You don't want to keep someone like that in the house. What are you thinking? What are you really thinking? Why would you want to keep someone who can win competitions, who overall can stay level-headed initially, but you know what will happen is he'll lose his cool during the HOH. He'll be so frazzled during the HOH when the votes are flipped that he won't be fully focused and he'll lose. So he won't be in power. Uh. Now, it's time for everyone to go and make their speeches for why they shouldn't be booed out of the house. Paul's, which is the usual speech about friendship. Friendship. So everyone's laughing at that. Tiffany, though. Tiffany, pr Tiffany was not playing, and that's why I gained so much respect for her in this game with that one speech, because Tiffany basically, without saying any names, was like, so why are you going to keep some the imposter king in this house and let him go with his Cabbage Patch Kid, Cabbage Patch Kid minion, do whatever they want in this house? You're really going to allow something like that to happen? No, I'm going to be in here because I don't have an issue with any of you guys except for the False King and the Cabbage Patch Kid. I.E. Frank and Bridget. Oh, see how I did that? <laughs> see how I did that? Now, they were cackling. 
I would have been cackling in that. I would, because Frank had this look of, oh my god, okay, and, and I appreciate that from Bridget. I'm like, Frank, that's how you should have acted. You should have pretended like you had no idea what was going on. But, um, that cackle was, I mean, Davon was cackling. Zakia was trying not to cackle. Frank went from... Bronte's speech was the opposite, the polar opposite. Bronte decided, you know, I'm going to play it safe this time. I'm going to play it safe and I'm going to go and say how much I love you guys and I wouldn't ever do something like that in this house. You really don't have to worry about me. I'm nice. And... <laughs> It's like, okay, that's cool, but you don't need to be in the house for being nice. And now it's time for the live eviction to start. During the live eviction, essentially, Natalie, uh, what is it? Natalie, Frank, Natalie, Frank, James, all voted for Tiffany to go. So we have to watch James. We have to watch James because it's like, okay, who is James really aligned with? Who is James really, really, re really aligned with? But long story short, it gets to the uh, very end. Oh yeah, and Paulie also votes to t take out Tiffany. So clearly what they said didn't matter because Paulie still wanted Tiffany gone. The votes are officially split officially split at that point. Davon was so happy. She was just like, you know, no hard feelings, Bronte, but you gotta go. <laughs> and, um, cause she was like, hey, Julie girl. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so from a vote of five to four, Bronte, you have to go. And of course, Bronte pretty much knew as soon as the show started that the votes flipped. And so that's why she had that look of, oh crap. And Tiffany's speech just confirmed it. So she's just like, okay, no, th thanks. Thanks. Mm. Of course, Bridget was shocked. Natalie looked kind of shocked, but not really. Frank was trying to do damage control. At the end of the day, Frank didn't leave the house, but Frank has to go and save face. Uh, Bronte did a great job. You know, she left on great terms with everyone. She kept it really sweet and cool and just talked about how, you know, she appreciated her alliance. She appreciated, she understands that she got voted out because of the fact that she would have been a number for uh, Frank because she was aligned with Bridget and all of that. And all of that is very true, but Bronte didn't know about the fact that she would have the opportunity to fight her way back into the house. Now, mind you, this is the fourth person that's officially going to be a part of a BB Get Back. So now they just need uh, next week Thursday, and so that's going to that's going to be interesting. That's actually going to be interesting to watch to see all of them go after each other. Definitely interesting, but again, it was really smart of Bronte to make sure that she didn't leave the house on bad terms with people. And pretty much everyone in their confessionals was just like nothing personal, but I had to take you out because you were definitely a threat. Uh, you were a vote. Uh, sorry, not sorry. So the head of household competition is as follows the head of co household competition consists of. Uh, remember, during the week, well, may not have known, the memory board was showing Jose. <laughs> now, <laughs> I will have started to speculate something just from that. Jose, Victor, and Glenn, and they're all over the world. Well, they were all over Europe. And uh, you had to, of course, remember what they were doing, what was in the pictures, what wasn't in the pictures, and it's a memory game. And, of course, whoever remembers uh, everything correctly wins. Now, in the first round, most of 8-pack gets taken out. And I was so upset that Davon... I was like, Davon. Davon! Davon. All of, basically, and all of her crew got taken out in the first... I was like, Lord Jesus, fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Nicole got taken out. And, eventually, it got down to... Who is it? Pauly and... What did they get down to? Paul... Oh, yeah. It got down to Pauly, Nicole, and Frank. 
And you know who wins? Do you know who wins? Paulie wins. Again, that's okay because I will actually I'm a little concerned. Paulie is playing overall for himself. I really hope he doesn't decide to go after people like Devon or Nicole or uh, people like that. I really hope that he makes it easy for himself and tries to go after someone like Frank. Um, the issue is though that Frank could be, even if you initially put him up, BB Roadkill is always that extra incentive of, okay, even if I'm put up, I can still put up someone else. So we don't know what could possibly happen. We have no idea because everyone can play. So there is that. I'm not sure how the suite's going to go. It could be completely up in the air. Completely up in the air. And, of course, Paulie's happy to have won. Uh, the responsibility, he's excited for it. Bridget's doing a lot better. James is um, James is happy with... Uh, well, James would love to see his daughter, just hear from his daughter. And Paul, because Julius like, fans want to know, would you be willing to cut off your beard to stay in your house for a week. Of course they wouldn't do something like that directly, but maybe in the competition. Maybe that means that it's another rewards and punishment competition coming up soon. And you know, shaving the beard thing might be one of them. So, again, please like, comment, subscribe. Come back on Sunday. Well, actually, technically early Monday morning. Well, like midnight Sunday, I'll have the video up. And also look at my other recaps and reviews if you are interested.